Hello everyone, this is another vlog and today we are in a very special place after very long months and today we're gonna board to go on holiday and this time we're going where? We're going to Jamaica We are sneaking on Amir's um, job because basically he's gonna be vlogging for his main channel and right now we just uh, me and Zuri so she's here waiting already very comfortable in her pram and yeah basically um, we just um, gonna fly together for our second holiday as a family to Jamaica and we have a eight hour flight first to Santo Domingo in Dominican Republic and then we fly straight to Jamaica so wish us luck and we're gonna show you a bit the journey and how we get to our Airbnb and I'm gonna tell you a little um, problem I had before traveling but this is when I get to get when I get to sit for five minutes because I'm exhausted and right now it's like 3 30 in the morning and we're super tired but we're still gonna try to make it interesting Should we go to the duty free? Amir is already starting vlogging for his channel and I think we have some time just to be around and see if we can get to buy something but it's too early stages just to be spending money, right? Um, I think um, my priority right now is to find a seat and maybe get something to eat and drink and because uh, we're traveling today with a new airline that we never travel that is called Arajet Arajet yeah, apparently is a Dominican I don't want to say something that is not excuse me I didn't do did my research but I think it's a Dominican airline and it's a low-cost airline basically there's no entertainment and no food included so basically we're gonna be um, having some food probably Burger King or Starbucks which I'm never eat in those places he has his reasons and uh, yeah, basically we're gonna sit down for a couple minutes and then we keep you updated what we're gonna do. What are you saying, baby? You're hungry? Sorry, I cut you off. You wanted to say something? Okay, this is gonna be our second trip. Suri before she was like five, six months and now she's more than a year. So basically it's gonna be a completely different journey because before she was like just having milk and like sleeping and probably like no further than that, but now she walks. So probably it's gonna be a different story. How we're gonna cope with eight hour flight. She's already complaining. Oh. Wish me luck, wish us luck. What I've done is just pack a couple snacks. No, we have blueberries, we have a uh, cucumber, we have some banana, apples, and water. And of course, she still ha uh, she still drinks from uh, milk. So I'm gonna try to to find the best way to keep her entertained. We we brought some books and some of her toys. So she gets entertained and I don't know if you guys have any suggestions, if you already travel with your children, uh, keep, please give us like um, your perspective of how was your experience about traveling with them and I'm going to pay attention to Suri right now and I'm going to give her some food. Sorry, I was moving too much the camera. You want to blow a kiss? Mwah. Maybe not. Ah, oh, your feet. Are you... Okay, your blueberries are nice. Yummy. Mmm. Qué rico. ¿Cómo haces con los ojitos? Ay, otra vez. Ojitos. Ay, qué hermosa. Okay, yes, as I told you before, I'm going to tell you quickly what happened because um, basically I was very, very, very like this close to not be able to travel and I'm going to tell you why. 
is so me but well you're gonna start to get it to know me along this the, these videos but basically I um, renew my passport because it, it was expiring in November and because we're gonna probably travel during the year I just said to myself okay let me just get my new passport and uh, make sure that I will get it before we go to Jamaica but my appointment was last Friday today is um, which day is today? Today's Sunday from the following week. Basically, I was just, um, I had the appointment and I ordered a express passport that is ready in 96 hours. So I just say, okay, perfect. Like it's gonna be ready before Jamaica. Where's your bag? I'm gonna change your hair. Oh, That's she pee pee. So okay, good. I'll continue once again. Other duties. Want to make it too long but basically i have my appointment i had the express passport and um it says okay we'll come uh in four days so uh, it will be coming like on thursday and we travel on saturday night so i say okay shouldn't be a problem but if it, i thought okay i can travel with my old passport and uh, until i get the new one so that's that shouldn't be a problem when i go to check where is my like where is going to be delivered my, my passport it says that the previous one is already invalid and what happened in argentina and buenos aires especially there was a strike and basically no post office was open everything was closed and i just had friday to collect it so i was like amir was so upset because i just said like imagine if i don't get my passport he already booked airbnb tickets and everything was ready and i was just probably like this this um, close to not be able to travel I was just like starting to stress out I just got rushes whatever so it was pretty exhausting until my father had a good idea to go Friday morning to this post office as soon as they open to your try to a, your father's an angel man your father saved you yeah I know I know I know my father is something else I mean was how was your how, how was your opinion like how was your um, uh, how did you feel when I told you that my passport was probably not arriving? I just thought you're not coming. Easy, you're not coming. I have to go enjoy Jamaica by myself. Uh, to be honest, I, I just thought typical, typical Bella. There's always, Bella's got a history when it comes to travel. But it is what it is. The most important thing is that she got a passport thanks to her father. So, um, yeah. Yeah, basically, father. big up to my father, to father that he went early in the morning to collect it and here I am at the airport and so ready for enjoy my holidays which as I told you before they're gonna be a bit special because we're joining Amir on his uh, working trip basically he's gonna be filming a lot with many people but we're just gonna spend some time as a family and of course making content for you guys for the family vlog as well but um, yeah it's gonna be half half work and family holiday so hope you enjoy with us and thanks for watching
my chest trying to sleep and Amir and I we order mm, that looks yummy empanadas and pizza it is. Mm. it's very tasty mm. Look, it's with, it says with organic flour oh wow mm. so he wants to try a bit maybe okay let's eat quickly because we need to get to the gate very very soon bye bye Thirty-one. Uh, G G G E and D, but we have three spaces today. Looks good. So here we are, three of us: Zurita, Zurita, Amir, and I. Normally, we're supposed to have only two seats, but apparently, we are on the last row. This, two, this one is blocked, so basically this is the last seat and they gave us an extra seat, so very positive, people still boarding, apparently the flight is full and yeah, when we got here, oh my god, so many snacks, cookies and for Zuri we have fruits, we have banana, banana, cucumber, apple, all things um, when she gets um, like maybe hungry in a couple hours. So that's the preparation for today and she's fastened her seat belt already like a big girl and we're gonna get ready and on the back we're listening to some like latin music so nice Zudi, are you happy okay okay um, are you excited amir i'm tired and i'm excited at the same time he's so so tired but i'm excited i'm excited it's gonna be a beautiful journey and hopefully we're gonna experience some amazing uh, new things in jamaica so I hope so as well and yeah what I've just done because this is a low cost as I told you flight but the, air, the, the leg space and the seats they look pretty comfortable and it's pretty modern we have the USB to charge here just the tray as you can see so what I just done before entering the um, to board I just download Netflix and I download a couple episodes and film because it's eight hours flight and I don't know what I'm gonna do without entertainment hope Zurita can sleep because she's been awake for like I don't know how many hours so I think she's gonna sleep wish us luck and we in case she feels a bit moany moany we have a couple toys and things to entertain okay it's been I think almost seven hours of the eight hours of flight i'm watching a series on my phone so we just woke up she slept the whole journey and right now uh, yeah she had a banana she had a bit of water amir was sneezing sneezing most of the time and there's the baby and now she's playing play with your unicorn Waiting for us on the other flight just to go to Jamaica. I'm not sure, I think it's 
and a half or two hours to get to Jamaica so we're gonna keep showing you the journey what she kept uh, what he kept so they entertained the last 10-15 minutes a bottle and a lid Basically, our flight from Buenos Aires to, to Dominican Republic was um, delayed. So basically, no one waited for us here in Dominican Republic to get towards Kingston. Kingston. So basically, right now, that young lady that you see in the back, she's going to sort it out, uh, our accommodation and the stay for today until they find a flight to Kingston. The problem is, I mean, we're supposed to film and do so much content today. So I'm just gonna be telling you what we're gonna do and what's gonna happen in the next trips. As I told you, basically they cancel our flight and we've been uh, sent to this hotel golf resort. Sudi is ready. Okay, okay Sudi. Okay, let's go inside. As I show you the entry, I'm gonna show you a bit the room. It looks like a uh, home alone. Look at Amir, he's already exhausted, belly showing out. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I think we have another bed for the chair. And the balcony. Let me see if I can, oh. well, maybe I try later. But that's the pool, which we're gonna go right now. They have a golf at the back. Where is Zuri? Zuri! So it is here. Well, we have the TV. Oh, sorry. This reminds me to, to Home Alone. Okay. Well, the wardrobe. Oh, I thought there's going to be sweets in here. Yeah, the bathroom. What's the bathroom? Where's the bathroom? I'm going to show. So it's it's wow. Here we are. Bathroom. <sighs> oh, it's nice. Nice shower. We have towels. And oh, here the other mirror. Coffee machine. Some water, and that's the lobby. Have a sofa. The lighting could be better, but it's okay. We're not gonna complain. This is complimentary. We thought it's gonna be way worse, but the actually the premises are nice. And the I best know, thing, you know, we can actually. Well, I wasn't gonna say don't go to put the car in. We can actually stay here tomorrow, but I wanna go put the car in. No. Hey, don't spoil. Maybe we might go Punta Cana tomorrow for the day because apparently our flight got delayed for 20, 48 hours. So um, we're going to see what happens tomorrow. But right now, basically, it's like 5.30 p.m. And since, I don't know, yesterday, we don't eat any food. Mm -hmm. So they said that they're going to arrange some uh, lunch for us. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to get ready to get to the pool, especially me. And then we're gonna get some lunch and yeah, we're gonna show you around what is it like. Woo! So I got changed because I was so hot here in Dominican Republic, it's like 31 degrees. You have Mr. Blackman and the cutest baby on earth already with her swimming trunk. Cutie! We're gonna go to the pool. Okay, let's go, girl. Oh my god, you look wow. so adorable, baby, with that swimming truck. She's super happy. 
So I'm going to show you a bit the hotel, the premises. We did not, we did not, we did not, I'll be honest with you, we did not expect the hotel to be like this. Uh, Bella and the Canadian guy were like, oh, it's chocolate, it's very well, bad. Well, yeah, blah, blah, blah. We, we met a Canadian guy that was in the same situation as us. Yeah. And basically, this hotel is like the, in the colonial area of um, Santo Domingo, which is like 20 something kilometers from the airport. Basically, he, the guy, he wanted to leave SAP, so he booked another hotel. And it's us, we just say, okay, might as well stay for today and see what happens. So basically, these are the premises. This is Zurita, Amir. They have like some fancy event room. So there's weddings. So there's different type of functions that they do. Right? For functions. Downstairs is the lobby, and here you have the main bar. So we're probably gonna have dinner there. So Zurita having excitement. How Are we gonna go through the stairs? Yeah. We'll show you a bit more in a bit. More sweets. A gym. With a view, beautiful garden around here. Palm trees and beautiful nature. I don't think I'm gonna use it to be honest. I mean, it says that we need to get fit, and of course, we can use everything. Our, oh, look, playground, playroom, 24 hours to play ping pong, pool. All right, let's just have a look quickly. Probably we're gonna visit this with Amir later. Pool. We have this like for football. Not too bad. And we're gonna show you. Well, this is the lobby. I will show you the restaurant and we're going to show you the best part as we saw so far that is the pool area mine push the caribbean i hope you can feel the heat that we feel around here look so nice Wow, it's like five something in the afternoon and it's so warm so we're gonna just jump on the pool, maybe get a, some drinks. Oh my god, if the drinks are included, count me on a nice cocktail around the pool. I'm not gonna give Suri milk today but I'm gonna enjoy my drink in the pool. It looks like there's a bar around there and it's just beautiful. There's a bed. And there's like the other suites with the balconies. And ours is, I think, somewhere down there. It looks amazing. And we're gonna see what they're gonna give us to eat because we, we haven't eaten in a long time. So, actually, I'm so excited that the flight to Jamaica was canceled. I hope I can stay another extra day and see what we can plan for tomorrow. But for today, we're gonna enjoy. Some local music. Palm trees, so beautiful, this nature. Apparently back there you can play golf. There's a basketball, a football court around there. There's like a romantic like place to eat around there. Honestly, very surprised for the good, right? Very wowed. I want to say something. Might as well miss your flight with Aria Jet. You might get this, but I think, I don't know, maybe we're lucky. I think this is the, the we thought at the beginning that it was going to be just like a normal hotel, like, you know, a room, just get get us ready for, just to spend the night, but this is like over the expectations, so, well, just cannot wait to have some food now and then swim and dive into this beautiful pool and enjoy the atmosphere. What are you drinking? Virgin Pina Colada. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful... Pool. Look at the view in the palm trees. I saw with my daughter. Of course, my husband yeah, is full dress, as you can see. No swimming trunks. He doesn't want to show his belly, belly. Mm. Wow. Enjoying and waiting for the food. And the scenery is very beautiful. Mm. Very, very beautiful. No, it's chilled, laid very back. They have even activities. They have like for baseball, rock climbing. Like, 
Hey, look at this. She wants to talk to me. Suri, what do you want to say, baby, on the camera? What do you want to Just say? say <laughs> Hope you miss your flight. What, what else she want to say? <laughs> See, they have, they have a lot of stuff over here. They've got activities. Rock climbing, baseball, football. Look at that, $20 if you want to rent this thing. But I ain't paying that, $20 for what? But look at that, you see, look, they've got the rock climbing activities in the far distance over there. Look, you can play volleyball, archery in a far distance over there, baseball. They've got a football court on this side. It's beautiful, guys. It's very beautiful. We're very lucky that they gave us this for complimentary. Life is a great adventure. So we should take this slogan and enjoy life as a great adventure. Anyway, guys, Bella's going to finish swimming. We're going to enjoy this day. Get some food, don't know what's going to happen. Welcome, welcome to Dominica Republic. It wasn't meant to be here, we meant to have a transit, but we ended up staying here. So, see you soon. Bye bye. Well, and before we're going to get like into dive into the food, I'm going to show you a bit like all the buffet and all the options we got today. Vegetables, mm. beef steak. Cannelloni, chicken with spinach, papa fritas, variety of salads, cheese, pasta, omelette. Oh my fucking god. What is this? Oh, pork chops, stuffed empanadas. What do we have? Mmm, golden fish. I'm pretty sure Amir is gonna try that one. Rice, beans. Oh, lentil and the beautiful fruit desserts, cakes. Oh, yes, we're gonna enjoy. Uh, I think we're gonna finish the vlog for today. And thank you so much for being on the other side. And hope we are gonna enjoy this part of the, of the journey. But especially now, eat and get some good rest because it's been more than a day that we don't eat nothing. So we're just excited and we send you a lot of kisses.